Hi, I'm Sam Sheridan from Sheridan Computers. Um, I want to do a quick video on how to do the initial configuration and setup of FreeNAS. Um, I'm doing this from a fresh install. If you need to know how to install FreeNAS, if you take a look at my previous videos, you'll find one with uh, how, to, how to do the, in, the uh, initial install and get that up and running. So let's head across and log in. Just remember the username to log in initially is root, not admin or anything. Okay. So I'm going to leave the accounts and everything and not bother setting any users up in this. I'll do how to create users, groups, shares, and do all that in a separate video. And just to keep everything separated and the video short. So if we go through the system settings under general, what do we need to change? Um, you can set up your certificates if you need to. Um, generally, I don't, do not have access to the internet, so you don't need to do this. Um, you can set up HTTP to HTTPS redirection, generally a good idea. Console key map, um, you'll want to set your console key map so your keys are the right way around. They've been set to American for me. Um, change your time zone. Where am I? I'm in London. So we've changed the key map uh, and we've changed the time zone, both important things to do. Go ahead and save that. NTP servers is um, another important option because it's time synchronization and you want to make sure that the time's uh, always correct on your server. Um, it's optional to change these. I would usually change them to uh, servers geographically closer to myself. So I know that UK is on, so we can change that to UK. Go through and do it for the rest of them. Um, now alternatively, if you have uh, an NTP server on site, which we do, um, you can tell it to use that. and set it to the preferred. So that's our time service set up. Boot. Uh, I'm just going through these because this is 11.3, uh, uh, Ask Release Candidate 2. Um, this is my first time playing with this, so um, there's nothing we need to change under a boot. Advanced. Um, Show text console without password prompt. So when the system boots, you can access the console with no password. Um, I would usually uh, untick this so that you have to enter a password just for security reasons. Um, if you needed to enable the serial console for whatever reason you can do here. Um, show console messages. will display the console messages from Freenas um, at the bottom of the browser window, which is useful to have just for to see any error messages and stuff. So we'll set that and you see how that's appeared at the bottom. Uh, email is another important thing that you're going to want to set up because if there's any issues or anything with your Freenas box you're going to want to know about it so you need to tell Freenas how to tell you. Um, so from the email settings you're going to need to put your email address in, your name, your outgoing mail server, um, which port it uses, whether you're using encryption or not, and if you're using authentication, which most will do, with, you know, username and password to authenticate against your email server. Uh, system data set, we don't need to change that. Uh, reporting, that's just personal preferences on how you want the CPU usage reported. Alert services, so by default, email is enabled, so if you put your details in for the email previously, you will you will get your notifications through from Freenode. Alert settings. Um, yeah, that's just to specify how often uh, you're alerted. Cloud credentials. If you're using cloud accounts for, you know, to um, back up to, we don't have any. We're not doing that. And SSH. 
credentials, we're not connecting to any other boxes, so we've nothing to put in there. Um, tunables is an advanced option to override the FreeBSD default. Update, always an important option to make sure you're using the latest version, which we are in this case. Certificate authorities, we don't need to set any of that up. We don't need to set any certificates up, um, no DNS. If you have a support um, agreement, you can stick your details in here. Tasks, I don't think there's anything that we need to change under there. Oh, network. Global network configuration. So the host name, this is how you'll connect to it from Windows machines and stuff, uh, and the domain. If you want to specify the, the uh, gateway manually, you can do both for uh, IPv4 and IPv6. And uh, you can specify your own name serves if you want. I don't need to change any of this because uh, we're DHCP assigned, so there's nothing that I need to set in there. Interfaces. Now this lists four interfaces. Uh, BCE0, BCE1. These will be different on your system. Um, these are both the onboard network interfaces that are with this Dell PowerEdge. IX0 and IX1 are uh, 10 gig interfaces. This has a 10 gig, <coughs> excuse me, this is a 10 gig network card in it. Um, you can click on that to see the network details. If you want to um, use a static configuration as opposed to DHCP, untick that um, and stick your IP address in and your network mask. Um, there's not really much else that we need to change. Um, storage. So because this is initial, initially a clean install, we've got no storage pool created. We're going to need to create one of them. So if we uh, go into pools, add a new pool, want to create one. Um, my two internal one terabyte drives are here, so I'm going to select both of them when I select both of them. Um, I need to give it a name. Sorry. So tick the drives that you want to use. Send them over to the um, data vdevs. Um, it will usually pick the best option. In this case, I've got two drives, so it's going to mirror them. Um, and create the pool. Oh, sorry, one last thing. You can specify encryption. Um, if you specify encryption, I believe you'll have to Type the, you'll have to mount the pool each time free and has reboot um, so you'll manually have to mount it I'm just, it's fine so I'm not using encryption in this case just for this demo I would usually re recommend encryption um, create the pool um, that's pretty much it so free and is ready to go We've got our master pool created, um, so we can now go ahead and start creating users, shares, folders, etc. Um, so it's just back. So that's as far as I'm going to go in this video because it was just you know what you need to do initially after you've installed Freenas. Um, I'm going to do a separate video on creating users and doing the shares and I'll go through and show you how to do that because I do believe it needs a separate video and I want to keep my, my videos short so they're easy enough to um, refer to if you need to. So I hope this helps. Um, if you'd like to hire us for any IT related projects, please head over to our website at sheridan.co.uk, um, fill out the contact form, leave some details on what you're looking for and um, somebody will get back to you. Thank you.